Take your siblings to Wendy's for dinner. Your meal costs $23.54. The tax is 5.5%. What is the total cost of the meal? So obviously when you go out to dinner, there's some additional costs that you have to pay in addition to the actual cost of the meal. If you're going to a sit-down restaurant, you have to pay a tip and tax. But in this example, Wendy's you know, if, if, if you're going through a drive through or something, you're, you're, not, you're not tipping the people at the drive through normally. Um, so we, have, we just have some tax here. Now, tax and tip, tax and tip make, you know, make your, your total price more expensive. It's extra money you're paying. Discount's a little bit different. Discount will actually make things cheaper, which I'm sure we all know because everyone... Everyone looks for discounts and, and likes discounts when you go out and shop. But this problem specifically is talking about tax. So the first thing that we have to do when dealing with any of these types of problems, we need to take our tax, which is 5.5%. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to change that percent into a decimal. So 5.5%, when we want to change a percent to a decimal, we are going to move the decimal two places to the left. So right now it's in between the 5 and the 5, and we're going to move it one place, two places. Anytime we have an extra jump and there's no number there, we're going to add a 0. So 0.55, excuse me, 5.5%, when you change that to a decimal, it becomes 0.055. Not 0 0.55, 0 0.55 would be 55%. That is way too much tax. 5.5% is 0 0.055 as a decimal. So that is step number one, change your percent to a decimal. Next thing we're going to do, that tax is applied to the total cost of your meal. So the only other number in the problem is our price of the meal, $23.54. So we're going to take that we're going to take that cost and we're going to multiply it by our decimal our tax amount but of course we changed our percent to a decimal. So $23.54 times 0 0.055 is going to give us 1.2947. Now 1.2947, that's four decimal places. With money, we always want to round it to two decimal places. So $1.29, that is how much tax we have to pay. Now on these questions, make sure you pay attention to exactly what the question is asking. What is the total cost of the meal? Obviously, the total cost of your meal is not $1.29. Your total cost is also not the initial price. We have to add these two together. That is our final step. I'm adding because tax is added on. It makes it more expensive. So $23.54 plus $1.29 will give us $24.83. So again, any problem that has to do with tax, tip, or discount, the first step is to change that percent to a decimal. Second step is always going to be multiplying it by the price of the good or, or whatever it is in the problem. And then the last step is just if it's, if it's a tax or a tip, that makes it more expensive. So that's why we added. If it was a discount, then we would subtract from our original price.